What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face the lurks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. again, do you? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford. She's in charge. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? You? Is that right? Well, you found it. 
Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, it's just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. Hey, you gonna start the reactor or what? Good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Uh, sure is good to have some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. You're gonna save the world, ain't you? That's the spirit. Uh, here. I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it, because the rest of the world ain't nice. Gotta help balance it out. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. <laughs> good to see a new face around here. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me, giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in, and we're having words. I'm McCabe, I'm the engineer, and you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. It's the apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. Tch. Let's see what we're dealing with here. You're looking to lay down some serious hurt. Use this to burn those weeds to the ground. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, yeah.
Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your, uh, sword mm, was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city, as a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. We'd all be long gone if Ford didn't run a tight ship. She keeps this place going, and helps folks like you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. I bet Ford will see you fit to leave now. Here's hoping there's not an army of Deadwood waiting for you out there. Well... Stranger, you are a wonder. Showing up at our door, surviving a root attack, and then getting our power back. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base. You, friend, are an unexpected guest. But we're glad for the help. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the Dragon Heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no... Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Well, here's hoping it doesn't. Might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there, searching, and one day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. 
There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck.
Hey there, friend. We weren't properly introduced before. Name's Reginald Malone. But you can just call me Reggie. If you're looking for a fix to what ails you, I'm your guy. More if you just want to swap stories. I'm good for that, too. I bet you got your share. Oh, don't sell it short, friend. Best stories are in the details. Man, it's good to see a new face again. Folks around here are getting grim these days. Not easy keeping yourself together day to day with the monsters all around us. You give a kind word where you can and the world ain't all bleak. But hey, <laughs> you found us a way out, didn't you? You're the hero of the war today, friend. Keep spreading the hope. if I can. Oh, hey, uh, not much to tell about old Reggie. My story is like so many out there. Loss, hunger, fear, and by providence, I found my way here. The last bastion of kindness and light. Searching my life. Oh, this place is like reaching through an endless fog. I do remember a ring I wore once. <laughs> but it's... Oh, I don't like to gossip, but you twist my arm. The cave's rough around the edges. I reckon she don't mind the company here. Riggs, he'd give you the shirt off his back if you asked. Bo, don't have much experience, but he's keen to do right by the war. Ace is friendly enough. Oh, she keeps her cards close to her chest. Ah, uh, Wallace. Poor boy. He's just settling in. Damn shame, losing his brother. We'll do our best by him. But that's a thread not easily tied. Ellen? Damn fine leader. Granddaughter of the founder for it. She's seen us through some hard times. She might not. She's done some fine work with the hand she was dealt. War 13. <laughs> what can't I tell you? Well, a lot, actually. The place is as old as teeth. The ward's been here since the world fell. Took on by command. Story goes the other ward will hold uh, anything else you need. Let's see what we got. Man, we did some good down at the reactor. Told them I couldn't have done it alone. I'm only sorry we didn't find... We're both gone now. But hey, if you find good scrounge out in the world, bring it. Oh, Traveler. Of course. Uh, <laughs> not really my place to say. People can tell you about themselves if they want. Just be careful around McCabe, like I said. Oh, uh, well, made some of them myself. But, you know, my, uh, partner, Jed, made most of the really good stuff. Jed, well, he... Uh, he was a genius. We put together what we could find, you know? Microwaves, sinks, car engines, <laughs> you name it. I tell you. Oh, sorry. I'm talking your ear off, ain't I? Something else I can do for you. Oh, uh... Same place so many go these days. And, well, and now it's just me. The ward's full of people carrying the loss with them. But to keep going on... Life. Life ain't bad so long as you got folks to look out for. Anything else you need? Certainly.
Quiet! 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 Do I know you, stranger? You've... You're the one that killed the damned whispering tree, ain't you? Yeah, I don't... I don't want to hear the voices no more. Nope. Oh, but I know they're still there. Still listening. Shh! No, 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 no. Like I said, like I said, he's dead. But he's still here. He's in my head. I'm listening. Shh, shh, shh. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I got loads of scrounge here. If you're looking for anything, you just let me know. What mask? I, I ain't wearing, no. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. Don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. No! No, 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 no. Washed ashore, we see all things 
We are the Root Mother, a vessel of wisdom through which the Root speaks. What is it you seek? The Founder, consumed by desperation and pride, now gone beyond this world, an unwitting harbinger of... Could it be? Has the hour come? Yes. Clearer it becomes. You seek to end the route, but the path is hidden. This vessel knows the road you seek. Help we must, but not where ears can hear. They will come for us when bonds we break. Will you protect? Will you trust? Ask, but I cannot answer what they must not know. Not while furled within their bows. We know how to find the path you seek, but they must not hear. Protect us, you must, or nothing will be learnt. This vessel, once a child, now a watcher, awaiting the end of a beginning, a prophecy. You. How far the path twisted and gnarled, the snarl and skein of the world. Oh, no more can be said while tethered to root. We've seen all till time is undone, many misfortunes, but you, the most right. The dreamers are dead, the dragon unbound. The spy serves no purpose, but a warrior might. The root will not release this vessel without consequence. You must defend us. There is a path beyond. Find the path. Then seek me out among your... Our... Kind. In the place you call the Ward. I know the way. Let an old woman rest. I'll find my way. Don't worry about me. Go. Go, we will speak again soon. Go, go, we will speak again soon. We've made the Root Mother as comfortable as we could. She was closer to the root than anyone. Here's hoping she can help us. It's strange, though. She moves through the ward like she's been here before. I'll be keeping a close eye on her for now. We have no idea what to expect. Can't imagine things look great out there. Greetings, child.
You have arrived at last. I feel much more myself. And less. No longer root. No longer human. It is age you seek. The road you pursue. You must find the one they call Founder. He alone knows the path you seek. But to find him, you must first open the labyrinth. It is a crossroad of many places. The Founder journeyed there, beyond my sight. I guided him to the labyrinth, as I guide you. Look to a great shimmering light in the sky. The path to its source is protected by a monstrous root creature. Slay the beast, seek the light beyond, and the keeper of the labyrinth will make himself known to you. Wait, one more boon I can offer to fight back against that which would erase us all. You carry a piece of the dragon's heart. I can improve it, make it stronger. The root is selfish with its strengths, but with this, you may stand a chance. Great forces are wielded among the worlds, but they need not be exclusive. Ask, I have lost much since the war began, but I have gained much in return. Cessation, the harbinger of silence. The root seeks serenity. Among ashes, either they fail or we will. A choice I made long ago. I thought it would turn the tide, but tides cannot be turned by thought alone. Desperation made me child. It will make you as well. Dreams only, faded and tattered. The Founder, Andrew and I, were together before the Root. Now the memory wanes. I bear its burden no longer. Dreams only, now the memory wanes. Look to a great shimmering light. Slay the beast. See. A gatekeeper. A protector. One and the same. The root stakes a claim that must not be. The keeper alone stems the flood. But for how long? <laughs> what makes a god? Power is relative. Worship, fickle. Creation is common, precious. You can believe the Keeper trades no stock in godhood, bound only by timeless duty. Very well. Ask. Very well. This may help you on your journey. Tread carefully, child. 